In this video, we'll be discussing a new function that's been released in Excel, which can help us calculate percentages, which is the percent of function. So previously, if we would want to calculate the percentage of a value from all the other values, including our value. So for example, the percentage of the sales amount in this row from the total sales in the sales column, then we would use a formula where we would divide the value in this row by the summation of all the values in the column. And we'd make sure to absolute that as well, because we're going to drag the formula down in order to calculate the percentages for all the other values. So let's change the number formatting to a percentage, and then we can drag the formula down to calculate the percentages of all the sales transactions here. So as you can see here, this is 2.16%. This is the percentage of this value, 7,866 from the total sales amount, which is 364,657. So this is what we used to do in order to calculate percentages. But now with the new percent of function, so we'd write equals percent of, and we'll give it the data subset, which is the value that we need to get the percentage for. And then we'll give it the data all, which is basically all the values, including our value as well. And we can also absolute that reference if we want to get the percentages of all values and we'll close the brackets and press enter and you can see here that we're getting the right percentage here and if we drag the formula down as well we'll get the correct percentage for every other value so this is basically the percent of function you will give it the part and then you will give it the whole and it will give you the percentage of that part of the whole. The percent of function as well is part of the group by function. So there is a new function in Excel that's called the group by function that can create pivot table like results. And I've created a whole video about it and the pivot by function as well. So if you are interested in watching that video, you'll find the link down below in the description. I'd highly recommend that you learn about this function because the group by function along with the pivot by function are awesome functions that can update results instantly, unlike pivot tables where you need to refresh the pivot table to update your results. So with a group by function, you'll give it the row fields. In this case, for example, I'll give it the product category. So this is basically like building a pivot table and putting a field in the rows area. And you need to give it the field, including the field header or the column header. And I've explained that on the video. So please make sure to watch it. And then for the values here, you're going to give it the sales amount, including the column header as well. And then for the function, you can choose the percent of function and if you close the brackets and press enter, these are the basic inputs. You can see here that we get the percentages of sales for each product category that we have, which are accessories, computers, and mobiles. We'll just change the number formatting here to a percentage just to show the numbers properly. So as you can see here, we managed to get the percentage of sales for each product category. You could also have more than one value in the results if you include more than one column in the values input here. So if you include as well the order quantity in addition to the sales amount in the values input here and press enter, you can see here that now we have the results here for the sales amount and for the order quantity. And if you need to show the table headers as well, then you can go to the field headers input and choose yes and show, which is number three and press enter. And this will show you as well the table headers. So I'd highly recommend that you watch the video about the group by and the pivot by functions if you'd like to learn more about these functions. All right, guys, so this wraps up our video today about the percent of function, a new function that can help us calculate percentages in Excel. And please note that this function is currently available for Office 365 users who are signed up for the Microsoft Insider program on the beta channel as well. And I leave you a link down below in the description on how to sign up for the insider program so that you can get this function on your Microsoft 365 subscription. All right, guys, so this concludes our video today. So if you found the video helpful, please make sure to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified with all future videos. And please make sure to follow us on social media as well. You'll find the links down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.